Hello everyone. Welcome to the brand new video series on Med Electro, guidelines for buying, used, or second-hand tech gadgets. From the first videos of the series, I'll be demonstrating how to check a used laptop before buying it. Please watch the video until the end to get the maximum out of this video. Like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel to get the latest videos to your notification bar. And follow me on Instagram to get the updates and news on upcoming videos as well. Let's get into the video. I will be describing a checklist that should be clarified before buying used laptops, and you can access the whole checklist via the link in the description. This checklist will be available in PDF format and you can download it for free and use later. First, Physical Appearance. First of all, you have to make sure that the device you are going to buy is in good physical condition from the outside, without any major cracks, damages and missing parts. Check the screen, edges of the laptop, web camera, lid of the laptop for issues in opening or closing the lid, connectors of the lid to the main body, touchpad, keyboard keys and whether backlights are working if available, charging port, USB ports, memory card slot, and the battery if it is removable. Check all these just from the outside look and make sure all are intact and usable. Because if there are any major damages, it can be even impossible to replace or repair those parts later. Then, check the charger with the cable. Specifically look at the connector of the cable to the AC adapter. Because most of the time chargers are damaged and, if it is, before buying the laptop, make sure it is available to buy for a reasonable price from local sailors or from online shops. Now connect the charger to the laptop and make sure the charging indicator is working. Then switch on the laptop, and keep eye on the loading screen to detect the presence of any unusual lines or flickering. Check the battery level once windows are loaded and see whether it shows charging status. Now press the Windows key with the X key and from this menu, select Command Prompt with Admin Access, or Windows Terminal with Admin Access in newer Windows versions. When it opens, type this, and press Enter. The command path will be in the description below. Then it will show where the battery health report is saved, default is in the Documents folder. Then open the Documents folder, and the battery health report will be available. It will show all the information regarding battery health. Now let's check the laptop lid. Push your laptop screen gently to the furthest position and then slowly pull the laptop screen back while checking if the screen flickers. Do not close the laptop lid completely as it may cause the laptop to sleep or shut down. Adjust your monitor brightness settings to the maximum, and then to the lowest. Next, right-click on the desktop and click Personalize. Or in Windows XP, click Properties. Click Screensaver, and then click the drop-down list. Select Blank as the screensaver, and click Preview. The screen will now be black. Then look at your laptop display closely to determine whether it seems dark but there is still a faint image on its screen. Now we have to check the keyboard. Go to Control Panel, System, Device Manager, right click on the listing for your computer's keyboard. Select the Scan for Hardware Changes option from the menu. The Device Manager will now test your computer's keyboard. If an error icon appears next to the listing, there is a problem with your computer's keyboard. Right-click the listing for the device again and select Properties for more information about the specifics of the error. Now connect the laptop to the internet and check whether the Wi-Fi connection is working. Open the Windows command prompt or the terminal, type the following command, and press Enter. If the loss is 0% and no errors are shown, it indicates a healthy Wi-Fi card and connection. To check the touchpad, Make sure right-click, left-click, two-finger and three-finger gestures including tap, double-tap and scrolling, are working. Now check all the available ports including USB ports and headphone ports, using relevant accessories quickly. Now we've checked almost all the important components of the laptop, which are needed for basic day-to-day -day and office activities. Apart from these, there are some other components which may have to be considered depending on the purpose of the buying, such as the gaming cards and VGA if buying a gaming laptop. In a summary, check the laptop's physical external appearance, charger and cable, loading of windows, battery health, screen and the lid, keyboard, network card, touchpad, and available ports. Make sure you tick all the mentioned components before confirming. You can download the checklist directly from the link in the description. There are a lot more to come in this video series. Hit the subscribe button below and get all the video notifications when it is on air. 
follow the Instagram page and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you for watching. Until next time, good luck.